Hey guys, today we got a video of someone harassing his mom. Let's get into this video. If you don't want to be in this situation, you're scared about being in this situation, or you just want to, you know, sharpen up some of your self-defense lessons, we got a free self defense lessons in the in the description you just have to click on the link in the description and it'll take you to some fight ender moves so you're never in this situation or if you are what to do those are given to you guys by professionals you know people from the military we got special ops black ops green berets all of that stuff um it won't just be some youtube you know i'm the youtube editor for fight fast and I'm just going to give you my thoughts so we could all have discussions in the comment section and with our community all you know gain knowledge from each other but if you want something more professional we got a free link for you in the description all right let's break down this video now so like i said you could see the dog the dog looks happy but you could hear yelling it sounds like it's in a different language the dog looks happy though so i'm wondering if all these people know each other and some kind of thing just escalated um, the guy comes into the fence. First stop, I'm going to pause it right here. This guy with the hat just comes with his hands in his front pocket, it looks like. And that guy already has his fists balled up and he's ready. You know, I'm going to give you guys some signs of potential uh, aggression. Body language. Look for clenched fists. That's the first thing. Look at that. All, it even looks like he's looking down towards the hands his fist or clinch he's in an aggressive uh posture uh he's making direct eye contact that's never good verbal threats it sounds like there's verbal threats going on I can't, it sounds like it's a different language but they're talking very loudly you could usually tell if somebody's intoxicated or have used drugs on this video it's a little hard to tell definitely something you could read more in real life escalated tension this is definitely escalated because they were talking louder and louder and then he started moving towards them bad response to someone coming towards you you should probably try to stay calm maintain your composure and avoid escalating the situation you know don't yell back use your words use your head think now his body is calm but he is yelling and it's probably because a lot's going in his head and that's what these videos are for guys so you could just muscle memory of everything you've watched so when it comes to a life to real life at least you guys you know you you've at least watched hundreds of hours of these you're getting muscle memories of what to think what to look out for i would stay calm but i definitely wouldn't have had my fist in my pocket that that just was not a good move assess the situation determine if verbal de-escalation is possible and prepare for physical defense okay the verbal wasn't making anybody calm down and he was not prepared for physical defense, you know? Create distance. He didn't create distance either. He walked up towards him with his hands in his pocket. Maintain awareness. Be mindful of your surroundings and potential escape routes. Look where they're at. It's like they're literally like caged in like animals. So he didn't show confidence. He's not thinking of his escape route. A lot of things going wrong. Uh, he's gonna you know I'm, I blocked it out if you guys want to see it unblocked you could go to rumble he's on the floor once you're on the floor it looks like he may be knocked out but you want to protect your vital areas cover your head your neck you know while attempting to defend against strikes 
He may be out though. That may not even be a possibility. That's why you kind of never want to go to the floor. You want to think of some escape techniques, bridging, kicking to create space to get back on your feet. Use your environment. It doesn't look like he's really buying anything. There is some pots and stuff over there, but he's way on the other side. Call for help. It looks like everybody's just standing around and maybe on the other guy's side, maybe because definitely no one did anything. And then in a minute, you're going to see him get dragged away. Once you're on the floor, you may want to look for some like guard positions, es escapes to a standing position, submissive defense. You want to do uh, any of that stuff. He gets dragged away, sadly. His pants fall down. But it seems like they, you know, leave him alone once he does. You know, be aware of signs of aggression. I think that's where the, <clears throat> the biggest mistake was in here. Maintain calm under pressure that's what all these videos are for guys so you can have this knowledge and remembering some of the stuff that we've all talked about or we're trying to build a community read the comments see what others would do this is just my thought of an editor and editing tons of these videos go to the link in the description get the real advice by professionals and that's just going to help you maintain that calm under pressure having basic self-defense skills can enhance your ability to handle this once again, we have that link in the description. Hit it, guys. You'll get those skills. Have awareness. He did not have awareness. There were so many things we pointed out. And, you know, he may have not have gotten knocked out if he, you know, would have hit that link in the description and got <laughs> the free fight enters. It's totally free, guys. I don't want to keep on saying it, but, you know, that's hopefully going to help all of us if we're in this. Hopefully none of you guys watching this video will ever be in that situation. But if you are, sharpen your skills. Get the free fight enders in the link in the description. Watch these, read the comments. We don't always have to bash each other for their thoughts. Engage with the other people in our comments. And, you know, we're all a community together that just want to learn about self-defense and all of that good stuff. All right, guys, what's your thoughts? Do you see anything else that he messed up on that I didn't catch? Put that in the comments so other people could catch that. And what's some things that he should have did once he's on the floor? He may have been knocked out, but, you know, he is moving slightly. They do drag him off, and he doesn't look too limp. He just looks like that may have been his strategy. Like, I am just not going to move. I have no idea. Give your guys' thoughts in the comments. If you know more about this video or the story of why this happened, go ahead and put that in the comments, and we'll see you guys next time.